hi welcome to another exciting tutorial from learn design and in this tutorial we are going to be looking at how to um, clean sweat or take um, stains away from a dress or a shirt or uh, whatever your model is wearing if there is some stains or you need to do a, a little bit of clean up in there this tutorial is going to teach you uh, like a very simple trick of doing that okay so in this tutorial we are going to be using um, the eyedropper tool so when you select it you go to the sample size and then you make sure that the sample size is 5x5 five five or 3x3 three three, so that you can get a large area on your sampling you create a new layer on top of the layer you want to actually clean up and then you sample the colors close to whichever stain that you want to clean you use the brush to put your opacity at uh, 20 or 30 depending on how you feel about uh, the the color you know being on top of the dirt or the, the stain or the sweat so you clean gradually as you sample colors closer to the dirt or the stain in the dress so that's what i'm doing here as you can see i'm just sampling anything that's closer to the sweat i just sample it and then i just clean with my brush so the reason why i've put the opacity at 20 is to kind of see through what i'm doing so i'm not painting a, a very flat color on top of uh, the sweat i'm actually painting uh, with an opacity so that it's not covering totally so that it doesn't look too fake or too flat so this is how i uh, this is the trick i use to clean up sweat or you know dirt from dresses or stains from dresses i hope this trick or uh, this uh tutorial help you in case you have a problem like this so with this particular picture that I'm using, the image that I'm using, we were doing a photo shoot at our office and one of the guys came in late, he was you know he was rushing to get to the office early so that he could do his shoot but unfortunately when he got there he was sweating so we had to take him the picture as he came in but when I go to the bench and I have to use this picture, I have to clean up the sweat from the dress. And in this particular tutorial, I'm not uh, showing you how to add texture to the places that you've painted on already. I think I'll do that in another tutorial again when um, I'm doing the next one for this particular topic. So as you can see, I'm still sampling you know in places where it's clean and then i print in places where i see the sweat or i see anything that i want to remove and remember the opacity of your brush is very very important you don't need to put it all the way at 100 unless you really you know, you're really sure of the area you are painting and you feel like 100 percent opacity is going to really help you there but I advise that you put it at a, a lower opacity and then you can get it right. So this is the before of the shirt and this is the after. So you go back to the before again and the after. So as you can see, it, it does a, a very good job. But the only thing is we have to just add a little bit of texture to it later. Alright, so do subscribe to the channel if you want more tutorials and more tricks you know in uh, retouching design i'll be adding a, a couple of tutorials in animation and then premiere pro and after effects and also cinema 4d so as time goes on i'll just be adding up a couple of tutorials in other areas too please do subscribe thank you